our Heavenly Father, Creator of all things. Father, you are holy, righteous, glorious, and almighty. We give you all the honor, glory, and praise. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Hello everyone, Glenda Coker, Sister G here, Gloria Spiritual Name. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the show. And for those of you who are new, I welcome, welcome you. Go ahead everyone, everyone, and spread, 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 spread the, the knowledge, spread the knowledge every single day, share the show. And I just appreciate you all being here every single week. And I want to encourage you, go ahead and um, put your name. Go to www.glendacoker.com and get your name on the email list. Um, Because things are... Changing, just stay abreast of the ministry and what's going on here. Um, as far as social media and everything, I want you to continue to follow me and stay abreast um, as things change, as things evolve, um, so that you won't be lost on anything that's going forward. Um, but I thank you all again for tuning in and share the message. And you know that. Um, for the last couple few weeks, we've been talking about um, events events and things that have been happening in the Bible. Um, Bible stories, Jonah and the whale, um, Joseph and his brothers, um, things like that. Um, and so today I am led to do something a little, little bit different here. And it's just, just crossed my mind. I'm just going to throw some things out here. Um, to you we're going to get right in it right now first of all i want you to um, um first of all before let me back up here i also want you to check out the website definitely a site inspired by god i created just a one page um easy to just scroll down um site um go to www. praiseandprayer.org www. Praise and prayer dot org. Um, there's a lot of there's some information on there. Um, receive your blessings. The site is is anointed. Receive your blessings. There's a free um, book there for you. Um, there's um, music there. There's prayer. You can submit a prayer request. Any questions or comments, things like that. So check that site out. There's a a um, Prayer that comes on seven days a week there um, automatically. So you want to stay um, connected to that site. Go on GlendaCoker.com. Um, again, get your, your name on the email list. Um, there's everything that I do, books and um, shirts and everything else. So stay connected with me. And from time to time, I'll email you and let you know what's going on with the ministry and everything. And follow me. Follow me, follow me. There are changes um, right now going on um, that I have um, things that I'm going to be doing in the future. So just just stay stay connected. But I want you to get your Bibles. And I want you, the scripture, I'm going to read 1 Peter. 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 20. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 20. And if you don't have your Bibles, just, just listen in. And um, really, 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 who is Jesus to you? Who is Jesus to you? Now, I, 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 this, this came up, I want to say this, and, and there's a lot of none- Talk about Jesus. Jesus. Not only among people that are unbelievers. But also with us in the church. The body of Christ. The, 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 
the 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 us that we are the church ourselves, but us as we gather into our places of worship. There is a lot of talk about what God's going to do for you, what Jesus is going to do, and Jesus can do this and in anything that you ask in 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 and in my Father's name, Jesus says all of that. It shall be done. But we take the scriptures, a lot of us, some of us, I'm not going to say everybody, but the scriptures are taken a lot of times into just personal things. And churches is, is not all church, but there are churches out there, body of Christ members, and you go there, and and I'm not speaking of a church I've 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 been going to or I'm going to, but you go there and it's all about your conduct. It's all about how you're supposed to act or what you're doing wrong in the flesh and and, and all about your your conduct or all about what God's gonna give you, what G, uh, 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 Jesus is gonna give you, what 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 the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit says. And and Holy Spirit told me this and told me that. But Jesus said, I came on this earth to do the work of my Father. The Holy Spirit, when Jesus left, before he left to go back in heaven, he told his disciples, he said, I'm going to send a helper. I'm going to ask my Father to send a helper. And that helper will be with you always. And he said, I will be with you always. He was speaking of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit, when he said, I will be with you always, he's me, the Holy Spirit is already, is, is in Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit is in Jesus Christ. So everything goes back to the Heavenly Father. Jesus came to do the work of the Father. But see, there's not a lot of talk. It's all about me, me, me. How I should act. Or or you're going to get in trouble. Or you're going to go to hell. Or act this way. And your children should act this way. And we're not acting and walking holy enough. And this is this, is this and that. All about self things. All about God's going to give you this new car. God's going to give you this new house. God's desires, this, this, this. We're too self-centered. A lot of us are too self-centered. And we're not preaching the gospel the correct way. We call on Jesus, 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 Jesus. It's, it's, what can Jesus do for you? What has Jesus done for you? That's that's not Jesus came to do the work and the will of his father to to take away the sins, the iniquities, all of that. But who is Jesus Christ to you, to us, to the body of believers? And you have people and I'm just putting it out. I'm not ranting. I'm not raving, but I bring you the truth. And if you've been following me and everything I've been talking about on Blog Talk Radio also about um, Israel, Jerusalem, what's going on over there. So you need to stay abreast. I bring it all to you. I don't leave anything out. There's nothing that I leave out. You know, and, and some sometimes the ministries are so, you know, just wonderful and powdered down and, oh, God is good and what, and all of that's beautiful. I'm not saying anything is wrong with that. But tell the truth and the whole truth. Don't hold back. Don't hold back. People hold back. That uh, Jesus is not coming soon. And, and, and what does the book of Revelation mean? What does the book of Daniel mean? What is it all about? These things we must stay abreast of. So I bring you everything. A lot of people don't want to hear that Jesus is coming back. A lot of people don't want to hear about the rapture. A lot of people don't follow the signs of the times right now. It's all about gimme, gimme, gimme. 
And it's not about us in the flesh. We are spirit beings. We are spirit inside of a body, inside of flesh. And we have a soul. Our thoughts, our thinking, things like that. So, this is what it all, we're trying, we're made in God's image, we're trying just like God is. There's just like God is. But see, we are made in his image. We must understand these things. We must stay abreast. So I bring it to you all. So this is what I'm talking about. Let me read. Let me read 1 Peter. First of all, 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 20. This is King James Version. Um, may go into another version here. Um, Who verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world? But was manifest in these last times for you. Okay. Okay. Let me go over here right here to amplify. Short verse here. For he was foreordained. Foreknown. Before the foundation of the world. But has appeared publicly in these last times for your sake. NIV says he was chosen before the creation of the world, but was revealed in these last times for your sake. Okay, this is Jesus, Jesus Christ. And Jesus, it is saying, he was here before the foundation of the earth. Jesus Christ. God in the flesh. And I'm not talking about the ones that are non-believers. And things like that. I'm talking about the, the body of Christ. Not everybody. But. We go on to say these things. Okay, everyone, um, bear with me um, as I was speaking here. I was um, I also um, moved into a new location. But let me back up here. Um, 1 Peter one twenty. Talking about Jesus here. Now... NIV, he was chosen before the creation. You say, how was he chosen? King James Version says, he was foreordained before, for, before. Jesus was always here. Let's back up. When God said, let us make man in our image. Jesus was here. This is, it is so deep, it is so deep. And like I say, I bring you every, everything. I don't hold back on anything. Anything. In the ministry, that's what we are here for, to tell everything, not parts of the scriptures, all of it. You see, Jesus, the Holy One, the Perfect One, the Son of God, whether you believe it or not, some people don't. If you're, you're a follower, if you're a believer, Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus is God in the flesh. Okay, this is what I, I want to get at. In the beginning, God... Let, 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 me, let me back up. Some people ask this question. And they say, well, if God knew the world was going to be bad, why didn't he just destroy it and say, forget it? Doesn't God know all?